Hello everyone, today we have new video review and as you can see this time we are going to check fresh release from Special Hobby. This kit is molded in 172nd scale and it copies Boston MK3. As you can see this edition is called as an intruder. And now we have a chance to check commercial samples, so it means you get exactly the same kit if you order it from Special Hobby Web Shop. So first of all we can see that box art is quite attractive, it shows this aircraft in evening time I would say. Here you can see comparison with my hand, it's a typical size for 172nd scale kit from Special Hobby. Then on the side we have some information about the kit, I would say nothing special, it's made in Czech Republic obviously. And from the other side we have QR code for the kit info page and also some safety devices as well as address of the manufacturer. So let's open this box, it's a top opening box, just give me a second. And here is what we have inside, so as you can see it's quite tight packaging I would say, surprisingly. And we have all frames packed into the single plastic bag, of course assembly manual on the bottom and also decal sheet and clear sprue come together in this single plastic bag, so let's open it. It's a receivable plastic bag, so you can use it later as well. And now we are going to open it. So first of all we have here all the bonuses on the top, I guess we can start with them and then we'll continue with plastic parts. So first of all I would like to show you the decal sheet. Give me a second, which is packed together with small P thread. I'll remove it as well. Okay, so let's zoom in and check this decal sheet. Here you can see it. So here we have all necessary symbols for several marking options. As far as you can see we don't have any decals for the cockpit. Maybe this one is a dashboard decal but that's pretty much all but printing quality seems to be nice and I don't see any issues with this and next we have also tiny P thread which features various antenna parts for this aircraft I will try to focus like this now you should be able to see it as you can see these are really tiny parts this is 172nd scale, so that's why their size is not that big, I would say. Next we have another plastic bag with clear parts, so just give me a second to open it, and I will show it to you as well. So here we have parts for um, canopy, as you can see molding quality is more or less fine. Here you can see also this circular part. And as you remember, Special Hobby do not feature any masks inside, so you will have to cut them with your own hands. And maybe there will be also some aftermarket set, but who knows, be ready to do it with your own um, knife and hands. Here we have another plastic bag, again clear plastic sprue. Why? Because this aircraft had a lot of clear areas, let's say. So here you can see another one. Let's focus the camera, now we should be able to see it. So here we have the nose section and also some of the uh, top sections as well. Molding quality is as great as the one we saw before and I hope it will be easy to install those parts in place but again be ready to work with all those clear parts. Next we have also another resin, um, another plastic bag with resin parts. So just give me a second to open it too. And here we have quite interesting set of parts. First of all, I am not sure what is this, I guess these are exhausts, but we will have to consult the assembly manual. As you can see they are molded as one piece parts, you will have just to delete them or cut off the resin base and then you will be good to go. And then we also have the frontal cooling parts, here you can see them, these will be used for the engine gondolas obviously. As you can see attachment points are on the front edge so be careful while separating these parts but external detailing looks quite nice. We have recessed panel lines and everything in place. Inside there is nothing because it won't be visible and here we have the special cutouts which will help you with installation. 
Okay, now we can move to plastic ports. So first plastic sprue comes with fuselage halves. Let's focus the camera, now we should be able to see it. Both halves are molded together with tail segment and also rudder. Of course, no section is molded out of clear parts, as you already remember. Here we have two halves for each tail wing. Also here in the middle you can see some of the cockpit parts which will have to be placed inside the aircraft. Now let's zoom in and you check all those parts in a zoom mode, so let's go. As you might have noticed, we have the guiding pins in the fuselage parts, but we don't have any guiding elements in the tail wing halves, so you have to do it with your own hands, be ready for this. Uh, it might be a bit tricky. Next we have also this plastic sprue. This one is dedicated to engines mostly, engine gondolas. As you remember, those frontal sections will be replaced with resin parts, just to remind you, they look like this. And then here we have the propellers, which are molded on four attachment points. That's really surprising. For three blade propeller we have four attachment points. Okay. Um, then here we have engine ports. Of course you can add some wiring. Maybe there will be aftermarket sets which will help you with this. Um, as you remember, original PE does not offer such option. And also those gondola parts, they have uh, recess panel lines, basically the same level of detailing as what we saw on the fuselage parts. Now let's zoom in and do the zoom mode. Let's go. Inside those engine gondolas halves you can notice that we have guiding pins so at least something will help you with proper alignment of those two parts together and next we have another grey plastic sprue here you can see it 
Uh, here we have mostly internal parts as far as you can see. Of course, those antennas will be replaced with P parts. Uh, those parts will be used for this version which we will be um, copying in this kit. It's MK2 and actually MK3. And now let's zoom in and take a closer look. Note that here we have some structural ribs. I'm not sure if they will be visible on the finished airplane, but still it is quite interesting that manufacturer decided to copy these elements. Now next we have another set of small frames. I wouldn't say that it's a single frame, but here you can see some of the landing gear ports, also some of the cockpit ports. The landing gear wheels will have to be glued out of two halves, so if you have a chance to replace them with resin, uh, buy the resin, install it, because here it will be noticeable and it's worth upgrading. Nevertheless, let's do the zoom mode once again so that you can see all those parts with your own eyes. Okay, and then there is uh, one more plastic sprue. This one is actually the last one, and it is dedicated to wing halves. So each side of wing should be glued out of two halves, as you can see here. And as you remember, we have separate um, engine gondolas. Uh, external detailing here is typical. We have recessed panel lines and riveting in all necessary places. Flaps and ailerons are promoted so you won't be able to retract them and note that guiding lights or position lights are also molded out of gray plastic so they won't be clear and you will have to play a bit with painting techniques in order to get a more or less convincing appearance i would say now let's do the zoom mode so that you can check all those parts closer let's go
As you can see, there are no guiding elements inside, so be ready for this. Uh, it will be a bit tricky to work with the swing parts, but I think the final result will look good still, no, no matter how difficult it can be. So here we have the assembly manual. This one is printed in form of small brochure. Here you can see comparison with my hand. It's surprisingly small. We have short history note in English and also in Czech on the first page. Then next comes the parts map. Note that uh, a lot of parts won't be used in this version. So be ready uh, not to use them, let's say, and be sure not to install them on your aircraft in order to avoid any mistakes. Here we have the paints chart, which is given in Gunzi numbers. And then here, assembly process starts with cockpit. Then we continue with installation of all internal parts into the fuselage. Here we assemble engine gondolas. Note that for camouflages C and D, you will have to cut this plastic part. Uh, do not forget about it. And also you have to use this special plastic part. Here we assemble wing parts. Then we continue with tail wings, engine gondolas with resin front uh, sections. But those resin parts will be necessary only for C and D markings. For A and B you will have to use the plastic parts. Uh, then here we continue with main landing gear legs. Here we install those frontal sections of the engine gondolas. Next ones are landing gear parts and those exhaust covers, as I said before, those were resin parts. And note that they should be combined with all marking options. Then here we have parts for C and D marking options, and we will have to use those PE antennas. And next we have here the marking guide, which is printed in color. This one copies aircraft uh, from which was serving from December 1942 until June 1943 and then blah 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 okay so I think it stayed intact then here we have two more marking options these ones are printed in uh, covered in special night finish and then on the last page we have another dark aircraft and as you can see the main difference why C and D mark inversions are um, let's say marked out because we don't have this glass nose section it has the um, closed nose and here as well so be sure to keep it in mind when you choose the markings because it will significantly change the appearance of your aircraft. As I said before, this model should be already available on official Special Hobby web store. Of course, uh, I would like to uh, hear your opinion, so write it here in the comment section below. And if you like this video, don't forget to press the like button and subscribe to our YouTube channel. You can also support us financially by pressing the donate button on our website and sending us money via PayPal. And I will see you in the next video review as usual. Bye.